everyone, my name is Taylor with Green Our Planet and today we're going to be building a wicking hydroponic system. This is quite a simple system that you can build using a recycled plastic water bottle. A plant is going to be growing in a container of media of an inert material such as um, the clay pellets we have today, coconut coir, peat moss, there's a variety of things you can use. They're going to be situated above a reservoir of nutrient solution with a wick that is going to hang down into that solution and by capillary action the water will travel up the wick and stay in contact with the roots of your plant so that it's providing the water, the nutrients to your plant that it needs. I've also seen them made with milk jugs and a variety of different types of containers. We're going to need some hydroton, expanded clay pellets or you could use some other inert material like a coconut coir if you like. We've got a, a seedling that we started a couple of weeks ago. If you need tips on how to start seedling, please check out our other video. We're also, we've got a sharpie here and a box cutter and some scissors. And the last thing we'll need is some water and our hydroponic nutrients along with a strip of this felt. In a hydroponic wicking system, we're going to need a wick. And there's a variety of ways you can make a wick. I've seen these systems created where they use an old t-shirt. Today I'm using a plain white felt, no dyes, no additives. And I'm just going to cut a nice strip. That's all I'm going to need. I'm going to choose on this bottle here about the second line down this is where I'm going to cut my bottle so we're going to cut all the way around that line the next step now that we have our bottle in two pieces is that we'll want to insert our wick so I'm going to put this felt right through the bottle there and I'm going to put a few of these hydroton stones down here a couple of big ones first so that that hole is blocked up and they're not going to fall through there continue to fill this part of the container with hydroton until our plant is at about the right height where we're going to want it planted in the container and one trick I'm going to make sure to do is I want to make sure my roots are in contact with this wick so that they don't dry out over time. I'll continue to feed some of these clay pebbles around here until I've got this leveled off up to the top. So we've got our plant and our wick both situated in the container of the, that we cut off the top. These are going to fit right into the bottom of our container that we're now going to fill with the nutrient solution we've mixed up here using the MaxiGrow General Hydroponic Fertilizer. We don't want to overfill it where it's going to overflow when we put our plant in like that. Well, we got just the right amount there. So as you can see, our wick is going to be hanging down in our nutrient solution. It's going to be pulling the water through capillary action up to this wick here. So it's going to be bringing water and nutrients in contact with our plant. At this point, it's a good idea if you're using a clear container like I am right now to use a piece of construction paper or something to cover this up so that you don't get algae growing in the bottom of your reservoir here. And then you're going to want to put this plant either in a well-lit window, out on a patio if it's in nice springtime, or ideally for hydroponics you want to use this under a grow light which is going to give you total control of your lighting schedule. If you're covering this paper it becomes also a nice art project for students to do. So have fun with your wicking system hydroponics project and let us know what you're growing.